We all know one of the best parts about staying at an all-inclusive resort is trying out all the fun drinks you can sip poolside or on the beach. But sometimes I never know what to order and I always end up getting the same few drinks all week. On our recent trip to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, I wanted to try as many different drinks as I could to find some new favorites and maybe give you some new ideas for your next trip. So here are some of the fun drinks we ordered at our all-inclusive resort. Okay, so this is a white Russian, which is vodka, Kahlua, and milk or cream, depending what they have. Highly recommend for a morning drink. First couple drinks when you hit the pool, super good. Another morning favorite was a beer mosa, instead of a mimosa. Ice cold beer, or cerveza, with a splash of orange juice. This is a toasted almond. So we've got vodka, Kahlua, amaretto, and pina colada mix. So it's definitely very almondy, not too sweet. It's good, but there's definitely a lot of amaretto. So if you're an amaretto fan, really good. If you want something a little sweeter, try something else. Okay, so this one is the Jamango. White rum, mango, and hibiscus punch. It's ridiculously sweet, but very good. Super fruity. Um, probably not one you would want to have six of, but they are beautiful and delicious. Yeah. Hibiscus down in Mexico is so good. Yeah. Very good. It's very good for the afternoon. Okay, this is called a dirty monkey. There is white rum coffee liqueur, pina colada mix, and banana, and a bit of a chocolate swirl. Another nice morning drink or like afternoon drink if you want to skip lunch and just have a meal. Uh, here we have, it's a mudslide, vodka, Bailey's, coconut cream, and coffee liqueur. It's definitely a pretty heavy drink. It's a great dessert drink, something for after lunch, perfect by the pool. Probably can't have more than one, but it's fine. Okay, this drink is the Strawberry Love. So this has brandy, Bailey's, strawberry, and pina colada mix. Honestly, it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. So if you want a frozen drink that's kind of fruity but not super sweet, this is actually really nice. Okay, so I met these awesome people from California, and this is their favorite drink, strawberry daiquiri. It's a classic. This is a strawberry daiquiri. This is our drink of the week here in Cabo. This is a Paloma. This is my go-to drink all week. This is tequila, grapefruit, and lime. It is so refreshing. It's not heavy. It's not too sweet. You can get it a little bit sweeter if you want or you can get it like not sweet at all look how refreshing this looks double risk this is a double risk this is our second favorite cocktail in cabo and i highly recommend it make sure you get the tahine rim all right this is the isabella this is coconut rum baileys evaporated milk and cream not sweet at all, but like nice and cold, silky smooth. But again, like you probably only want one of these because there's a lot of like cream and milk and stuff, so. All right, this drink is called the pool water. It is made with vodka, amaretto, blue paraco, and pina colada mix. It's very sweet, very good, highly refreshing. If you want one that matches the ocean for selfies, get this one. Okay, so my next favorite drink is called a ranch water and I learned about this from my two new friends from Texas. Ranch water is tequila, lime juice, and sparkling water, and preferably Tapo Chico. In a glass bottle. In a glass bottle. Cheers! Yeah, so 
This is a beer. This is um, hops, barley, and yeast. And it's good for basically any time ever 24 seven. And it tastes exactly like beer. <laughs> <laughs> Another couple of favorites from a previous all-inclusive resort trip was this passion fruit margarita, which is called a Metacoya margarita. The iceberg drink is another favorite, which is beer with margarita slushy on top. And you can't forget the classic margarita on the rocks. You can also order a skinny margarita that's much less sweet, and that's what I got here. Of course, this was just a sample of the many different drinks you can order at your next all-inclusive vacation. For more ideas, I wrote a blog post called The 55 Best Drinks to Order at an All-Inclusive Resort, where I cover classic and frozen cocktails, non-alcoholic drinks, healthy drinks, shots, and the best after-dinner beverages. I hope the video gave you some fun ideas. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one, and thanks for watching.